Hey, what is up, everybody? Victor, the rookie card specialist, coming at you just with a quick update. I have been super swamped here with the card room um, remodel that I am doing in my basement. I made a video a couple of weeks ago pertaining to the details of that. I will leave a link to that video at the end of it. But here's the thing. I have just been totally swamped with all the projects going on and it seems like things are getting a little out of control for me i did end up we are at the point now where we are getting ready for paint the walls the construction is done the walls are done it's just a matter of painting the walls painting the ceiling and then that's going to be uh, uh the next step and then we're going to finish up with the floor so um busy picking paint colors and uh, floors and and you name it and uh, it's just uh, been a lot to to handle here lately so what I am doing I haven't really been in tune as I typically am with hobby happenings thanks to uh, hobby hotline and and several other channels of uh, neo cards and comics weekly market report things like that really keep me tuned in a bit uh, but I have not really engaged um, as I typically do. So what I am wanting to do, if you would give me the permission to do so, I have not done this. I don't recall I've done this in, in the past, but what I want to do is I want to repurpose one of my videos that I created on, I, I released it on June 11th of 2023. It's, it's, it's very explicit video. And I feel like in this video, not only was I explicit, uh, but I was also sharing my heart with um, with you, my audience, my community. But the, the video really did not get a lot of views. And I think a lot of it is because my title and my thumbnail, when I, when I look at it now in hindsight, was really, really bad. So what I would like to do is just reshare this video um, to so, so that I want to bring emphasis to these points once again if you would allow just allow me to do that uh for this week i would greatly appreciate it so without further delay let's jump right into me addressing some serious topics i know at times you know i might come off a little rough around the edges but and, and i might do so here in the next few minutes but <laughs> i do that I, listen it's not that i'm rough around the edges it's, i do that because i I'm trying to grab your attention. And I know that I, you got to know your audience when you're, when you're doing any type of speaking, right? And I know that the majority of my audience is men. And so man to man, sometimes I got to speak, right? I got to speak to a man. But I do know that when it comes to social media, it's all about reputation. You, you, you have to be a steward of your reputation. You have to be the protector of your reputation uh, because there's, there's people that agree with you and there's people that disagree with you. There's people that, that have troll-like tendencies and they want to um, basically twist your words, right, to create their own narrative. And, and that's the kind of stuff that really, I have a really short fuse on and, and I will call it out and I will confront or respond uh, quickly uh, because I don't mind you questioning. As a matter of fact, I, I want that. But if you're going to twist my narrative in order to create your own narrative, uh, then I'm going to have issues with it. And it is nothing, nothing has happened out of that. That's negative, right? It's, it's all um, interpretation of things, right? And one interpretation is I've heard somebody say Victor's rookie card rules. Well, and, and I, and I understand that the, the concept or the context that they were speaking it in, and it was more in a supportive nature, but uh these are not Victor's rookie card rules. Okay. Uh, I am one that's, that's kind of like brought it to everybody's attention. I've basically, uh, you know, reestablished some things that had been forgotten about in the past, uh, things that the hobby has gotten away from that, that, that I find concerning, but 
these are not Victor's. Victor doesn't have the authority to 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 create these rules. I am basically communicating right the rules that have been already been established. Uh, uh, but I'm just bringing structure and order into them, and I'm trying to convince us that these should still be important to us. And and so uh, they're not my rules. They are our rules. They're, they're the hobby's rules, but at the same time, they're the PA's rules too. And so we have to understand the complexity. That's how come with version two, I have tried to bring both worlds together. I have intertwined them and, and, and created this so that we have a, a, an understanding of what's going on. And, and my, my long-term goal is to convince the PA, to convince card manufacturers to adopt what the hobby has established. Because up until now, they don't really follow or care to follow what we, the hobby, have established as rookie card guidelines. And, and that, to me, is the big disconnect, right? They basically do what they want whenever they want, and that's basically the end of it. But it violates some of the things that the hobby has established. In some way, somehow, those two worlds need to reconnect. And that's what this is really about. But bottom line, legally, you know, these are the PA's rules, with a secondary of hobby rules. And I, and I do want to apologize if I come across, you know, rough. It's a lot of that is I, I, knowing my audience, knowing what I got to do to get through to my audience. And, and a lot of that is not so much that I'm, you know, being mean. It's a lot of that is I'm passionate. I'm, I'm, and as a communicator, uh, that comes out at times rough. But underneath that, I would say I would consider myself more of an educator. I would consider myself more of a of an advocate, an advocate for rookie card reform. And there is a times where, to be honest with you, I sometimes I feel like um, a voice in the wilderness, just basically talking to the trees. And and so uh, those are the types of things that sometimes when when frustrations build up, sometimes it comes out, and I'm and I'm aggressive but i'm 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 good at least i i try to be a good hearted person so uh, a lot of that is i i love more than more than preaching from the mountaintops i enjoy laughing i enjoy conversating and 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 um giving man hugs and that type of thing that's the kind of stuff i, I like but uh don't really mean to ruffle anybody's feathers but i will um you know I will challenge our way of thinking when it comes to the rookie card. Uh, also, you know, some have accused me of, you know, a slapping our rookie card forefathers in the face. And, and by that, I'm assuming that is, you know, Rich Klein and Dr. James Beckett. And, and that, my friends, is, you know, that's the furthest thing from the truth. And, and, and first of all, I have gone out of my way and I have communicated this over and over again that if we're comparing today's rookie card guidelines and looking back, what we see is that they got it wrong, that Beckett Publications got it wrong in the 80s and 90s, that they shouldn't have done this or that. And I have been the first to correct everybody and say, hey, no, 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 no. You cannot take today's rules and look back because that's un that's not how this works rookie card history has evolved there was decisions that had to be made back then and they did that and they brought the hobby forward now to look back and say hey they got it wrong that that's that's disrespectful that's slapping our forefathers in the face and i have been the biggest advocate for their work to this day and, and to say that my work is slapping them in the face is, to me, that's unfair. And, and that almost gets me to the point of anger because I have been uh, their biggest advocate. I have been their biggest fan. And I will not and I don't want to rewrite history. I've, I have said that over and over and over again. 
We cannot rewrite history on this thing. We can understand it better. We can we can study it and and look at how it's evolved. Uh, but rewriting it, it to me is not not the move to make. And another point that I want to make is, it, Dr. James Beckett. I have been on his show many a times. I even brought him in on mine. And I don't know this. I don't know that he still is. But Dr. Beckett has been one of one of my biggest supporters in the work that I do uh, on the rookie card. So, you know, to to accuse me that I'm slapping them in the face uh, is to me is 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 not right. Now, there's some things that the hobby has evolved in, like like parallel rookie cards. Okay, yes, here's where it was, but here's where it is today. Now, I do understand that that some folks may have an issue with change, that they they will have issues with the rookie card evolving. Um, but friends, you're either you're either you you either get on board or you get out of the way because what happens is you start slowing things down and you start this is part of the reason for the muddied waters is some people have drawn some lines uh decades ago and they don't want to move from that line and and that's fine and 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 you're you're <clears throat> right you have the right to make your stance and stand on your mountain but don't stop somebody else from creating their own stance or their own mountain and and that's kind of the the thing that we got to understand that things change everything changes eventually i know some of you younger cats you know you may struggle hearing the word no maybe you haven't been told no very much in your life and it's hard to hear i understand that but i feel like sometimes it just feels like some people just have issues with authority altogether and whenever anything that comes across with some type of like authoritative correction, there's like an immediate resistance that comes about. And so if we present a, 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 a something that is not painted with unicorns and rainbows, if it doesn't fall into your philosophy, well, you disagree and you shoot it down. But, you know, the real world doesn't work that way. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm just one. I'm, I'm cut from the old thread. OK, I'm a Gen Xer. And, you know, I didn't get to argue with my parents, my parents, whatever they said goes because they're my parents. I didn't like it, but I had to obey it. Let me go to my job and tell my boss, hey, boss, you know that uh, I don't I don't agree with how you're running things. I don't I don't agree with the work scope that you gave me and I'm, I'm not going to do it. You know what it's called at my work? It's called insubordination. You're immediately pulled from service pending further investigation. Or how about you go to a courtroom and the court passes judgment and you say, yeah, you know what? I don't agree with you. I don't like it. Let me know how that works out for you. You see, some think that rules bind us, but they actually don't when done correctly. When done correctly, rules give us boundaries and give us freedom within those boundaries. Now, we want to be all the way out here left field and do what we want to do. Don't you tell me what to collect. Don't you tell me how to collect. Don't you tell me what's a rookie card and not a rookie card. A rookie card is going to be whatever I want it to be. Yeah, that's cool in your world. Listen, man, a rookie card should be whatever I want it to be. A rookie card... Everything's a rookie card. They're all rookie cards. You know what? That's exactly what the card manufacturers want you to say. That's exactly what the industry wants you to say. That's exactly what they want you to believe. Why? Because they want to sell product. But those of us who are in the know know that not all rookie cards are created equal.